Hey, Journey family. It's Monday, August 31st. Pastor Stephen here, and I have some great things to talk to you about today. We're going to talk about redeeming the time. Redeeming the time. You see, Ephesians 5.16 says, making the best use of time because the days are evil. I think all of us can agree, living through the social unrest, political campaigns, global pandemic, it has felt like the days are evil. So how can we redeem the time? How can we redeem the time? Well, the first thing I want to talk to you about today is in order to redeem the time, we need to look at Proverbs 21, 5. Proverbs 21, 5 says, The plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to poverty. Proverbs 21, 5. You see, you need a wise plan to redeem the time. You need a wise plan to redeem the time. And we see in Proverbs 21, 5, two con- we, we see a contrast here of diligence equals abundance, while hastiness or busyness equals poverty. Diligence equals abundance, whereas hastiness equals poverty. So how does this work out? Well, diligence here in this proverb is is hard work, perseverance, endurance. It's going above and beyond and being thorough in our work. How do we redeem the time? We need to be diligent. Now, in contrast to that, hastiness or busyness leads to poverty. Why? Because when we're hasty, when when we're busy and we're just we fill our time with so many things but they're not the right things, then we end up not really accomplishing any task because we've we've kind of done a little bit of everything, but we haven't done the thing that's most important and gotten it done. My boys uh, have watched a lot of cartoons over the years, and one of the cartoons they've watched is Ninjago. And uh, in the Jago, in in this cartoon Ninjago, uh, Sensei Wu it says, "Don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today. Don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today." So this proverb is saying. If you want to redeem the time, because the days are evil, Ephesians 5.16, then be diligent. Diligent is uh, saying, I'm going to do, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to persevere. I'm going to be thorough. I'm going to go above and beyond. I'm going to lean into the power of God as I'm working, which leads to abundance. Now, pro- proverbs aren't promises. Proverbs are generally the way things work. If we're diligent, it will lead to to abundance. And when we experience abundance in our life, we can be we can operate with greater generosity. The generosity then leads us to be able to be generous with time, treasure, talent. Whereas when we're busy, we feel like there's never enough. Hastiness, busyness leads to poverty because it leads us to this this scarcity mindset. And scarcity says, I'm not going to I'm not going to have enough. I better hoard my resources. I'm not going to be generous because I don't think I'm going to have enough. And God wants us operating always with an abundance mindset, with a generosity mindset, because the Lord wants to bless us. God wants to give us everything we need for today. That's why the Bible says that God's mercies are new every morning. Why are God's mercies new every morning? Because God wants us starting fresh every day with his abundance, not with scarcity. So how do we redeem the time? This first point is you need a wise plan. So make a plan. Be diligent. Stick to the plan. The plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance. But everyone who is hasty comes only to poverty. So take a breath. Ask the Lord, what are the most important things you need to get done today? Get those things done. Recognizing that as you work hard for the Lord, God is going to be with you in it and it's going to lead to abundance. I love you, church. You are greater in the eyes of the Lord than you are in your own. 